Welcome to the Brass and Wood One Shop. This is Friday by request and Chris from Canada had some questions he wanted to ask about band instrument repair. How did you get involved in band instrument repair? What courses did you take? What instrument do you play? How can someone get involved in band instrument repair? And general information about the trade. When I was in high school, I bought and sold instruments, and I did it for fun and to make some money. And I looked in the newspaper to see if I could find instruments, and if I found something I thought was a good deal, I'd go buy it. Then I would sell it, and usually I made a few dollars at it, and I enjoyed doing it. So I gradually sold more and more instruments, and I had fun doing it, and then I realized if I knew how to repair them, I could make more money when I sold them. And also I could buy instruments that were maybe weren't in quite as good of condition, fix them up, and then sell them. And then I found out about Red Wing Technical College in Minnesota, and they have a band instrument repair course. So I took the band instrument repair course there. Then I got a job in a music store not too far from where I lived. I worked there for six years, then I got married and moved to New York where my wife is from. And when I did that, I started a music store, the Brass and Woodwind Shop, and I've been repairing instruments here for 18 years. There are two other colleges in the United States that teach band instrument repair. There is Western Iowa Tech in Sioux City, Iowa, and Renton Technical College in Renton, Washington. Also, Badger State Repair in Elkhorn, Wisconsin has an apprenticeship program where they teach you about band instrument repair. And also, Chris, who asked these questions, is from Canada, and there is one repair college in Canada, Piano College in Fort McMurray, Alberta. Look in the description below for information on those colleges. Chris also asked what instrument I play. I play trumpet. When you're in band instrument repair, you really need to know at least a little bit about playing about every instrument. So I can play any of the wind instruments. I can at least play them good enough to know if they work like they're supposed to or not. The two instruments I sound very bad at are trombone and bassoon. But I can at least play those instruments to see if they work. And also, you're never done with a repair until you've play tested the instrument to find out if it works. Then there's the question, how can someone get involved in band instrument repair? And that depends what you want to do. If you want to get into band instrument repair for a career, it's good to get into one of the colleges or do an apprenticeship at a music store with a repair shop if you can do that. I know that everybody is not in the position to do that, so the next best thing would be to get a job at a music store that has a repair department and just get a job anywhere in the music store and then work your way up to the repair shop. And if you show an interest in repairing instruments, they are probably going to want you in the repair shop anyway. And once you're there in the repair shop, they will probably start you on some of the easy repairs and then you can work your way up and learn as you go and work your way to doing some of the harder repairs. If you're a hobbyist or a band director or someone who just wants to learn more about repairs but you do not necessarily want to do it for a career, I suggest that you buy a few cheap instruments and cheap instruments are easy to find. You can go into just about any music store and they'll probably be happy to sell you some of their instruments that they don't want to work on. And you can practice repairing those instruments and then if they work when you're done you can sell them. Of course you can always watch my videos and other YouTube videos on band instrument repair. The last question he asked was about general information about the trade. I'm going to tell you the good and the bad things about band instrument repair. I will start with the bad things. One of the bad things is that you do not make a lot of money at this job. You can make enough to support a family, but you will not have a lot of extra. And the other bad thing is that summers are very busy and usually you don't get any time off in the summer. That's because schools are closed in the summer and they do not need their instruments, so they bring them in well, they don't need them. Other parts of the world may be different than that, but it usually depends on when the schools have vacation and do not need their instruments. Those are about the only two bad things about this job. There may be a few other minor things, but nothing really to mention. Some of the good things about this job. There's a lot of variety. You get to see a lot of different instruments, and it's just an interesting job overall. You make a lot of people happy when you do this job because you get their instruments working when they weren't working before and the band directors will love you. Another good thing about the job is usually it's very flexible. You just need to get the instruments fixed and it doesn't really matter when they get fixed usually, but they just need to be fixed by a certain date. So if you want to work in the evening, usually that will work out fine. And if you want to work in the daytime, that works fine too. The only thing is it's not flexible in the summer. You will be working a lot of hours in the summer. 
Also, it is a good job if you're married or if you have kids because it's not that physically demanding. So when you go home, usually you have energy to play with the kids or do things around the house, things like that. Of course, the exception being in the summer when you're going to be gone and working all the time. Another good thing is that you can do this job well into old age. There are a lot of people who are retired and they, then they get into band instrument repair. And this is a job you can start into your 60s or 70s. And it's a fun job to do if you're retired and don't need to worry about making money. But it's also a good job for young people too. My woodwind instructor in college said that you never retire, you just fall into a box of keys one day. I always say that I don't want to retire, I'll just retire when they put me into a box. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video is interesting and helpful to you. I did a video a while back on getting started in band instrument repair, and I'll leave the link to that video in the description below. I will also leave links to the colleges that have band instrument repair in the description below. If you have a repair or a video that you would like to see me do, look in the description below for a link to the video request form and fill that out. And if your request is compelling and interesting, I may use it on one of my Friday by request videos.